What's going on everybody? Welcome to more Horizon Forbidden West Free Roam. Today what I got planned is I think we're going to start off with one of the melee pits over here. And then we might do something else. I know two things that we're going to get done in this part. This might be a shorter part actually. Melee pit and then we're finally going to leave the daunt and go over to this rebel camp. And we're going to take that out. I'm not sure what like will be i mean obviously there's gonna be rebels waiting there but don't really know what to expect from there and that'll be our first time actually in the forbidden west all right let's go ahead and get started with one of these melee pits let me see if i got where do i go where's my spear at okay you can't add anything to the spear all right you wanted to speak to me well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Odurk. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight? You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West? Who? The Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Okay, melee pit chain scrape. Melee pits test your close quarter fighting skills against other human opponents. Complete all challenges against other fighters to ultimately face the pit master. The pit also allows you to practice your melee skills in a focused tutorial or an open-ended training session. Alright. Let's see what do we got here. Okay, there's the tutorials. We're going to go... What is the... I might actually try out one of these later. I'm not going to do it on camera. We're going to get started with one of the challenges. Let's see. Use the block breaker combo. Okay, let's start off with this one. I did actually unlock two combos. I think I mentioned it. Oh my gosh. Jeez, I didn't expect this to get started that fast. I unlocked a couple combos. Uh, if you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself less predictable. Oh wait, we got a timer. I just, whoa. Bro, melee combat feels so much better in this game. Oh my gosh. I felt like some of it already, but... Alright, come on. Come on! If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. Oh gosh, come on. There we go. attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. Alright, that wasn't that bad. Except for it starting so fast. Oh, wow. we oh, I forgot about the timer halfway through. Okay, we barely made that one. Okay, what about this one? Okay, that's just the tips that I had there. I guess the rules are always the same. You just have to... Oh, wait, no. You have to do a resonator blast. This is something I couldn't figure out earlier in uh well i mean i'm still at that same point 
Okay, energize your spear. Keep hitting your opponents with R1 and R2 attacks. Energize your target. Use the R2 attack. When you your think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Trigger the resonator blast. Then hit your the opponent point. with a heavy or power attack to blast the armor off. Okay, I guess he's gonna say it. The there we go. Okay, wow. It, and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. All right, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Dang, I can't believe I didn't figure that out earlier. In uh, my playthrough, there's a point in the game, I think it's my last video that I have up, um, where you have to, uh, you have to do that, and I couldn't figure it out, so I just ended up Defeating the guy regularly. Alright, now we get to fight the pit master. I kinda wish this lasted. Whoa. And use your mind. I kinda wish there was more. Like, I wish maybe like a gold, silver, a bronze, silver, and gold rarity challenges at each one. I don't know. They're still good. And there's more than one melee pit. An impressive attack. Alright, let's try to get a resonator blast. Oh boy. Let me hit him with this. There we go. I yield. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodurk. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. Alright, that was pretty fun. A little easy, but I'm sure the other ones will get harder. Now, what happens if I just... And we'd just be replaying the same stuff, okay. And then practice melee skills you and unlock and unlocked combos and focus tutorials. And that's just like See you later, Odurk. Free play. Farewell then. Oh we gotta we gotta die unlock too. We'll be able to use those later on. I probably show some of that in the playthrough series, some of that on here. Honestly, we got time to do Machine Strike, too. I wanted to do this on this part. Didn't know if I would have time. But we should have plenty of time. Let's head in here. Where is this? Down over here. Here we go. I hope I can pick this up. Come to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Okay, yeah, this is kind of the same thing as the first one. We got four challenges on here, though. What do we get? We get skill points for this one. All right, let's just get started with the tutorial. I hope this doesn't take me long to pick up. Sometimes I just like halfway pay attention to stuff, and then right, I don't let's start pick it up simple. at all. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? 
That notes nope. also tell you how Oops. far a piece can move. I just skipped over how something. How powerful their attacks are. The distance they can strike from. And of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. How do I? And remember, I each it, uh... machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. What's going on? Wait, select the turn it should move. Okay. Oh wait. Can I not move it there? Easy enough, huh? Okay, I had to move it now, the rest of the way. You get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Okay, I gotta move them both up. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece when performing an attack. You'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. Okay. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Yep. Can I do it now? Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. What? Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. That's about it for your turn then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds. Machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let oh, that okay, machine I got it. it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. Don't hit. Let me do it. 
Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. <sighs> no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll uh, think about it. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of want to play more. What? How long have we been recording? Hmm. I'll probably do these two tutorials off camera. And then I might do... I'll probably mix in some side stuff like this with my playthrough series. Uh... I guess that's all we're gonna do for that now. I'll see you later, Aloy. I know I shouldn't complain about this, but, like, they explained that, like, very, very thoroughly. Like, you'd have to be pretty... Especially the beginning part. Like, you'd have to be dumb not to pick that up. And that's coming from me. Like, I, I remember... I don't remember the card game that was in Red Dead, but I just remember that, uh, I never, I never, I picked up on it, like, for a little bit, kind of, I never paid attention to the tutorial, and then, uh, like, I would try playing it, I never played it that much, I always kind of wanted to, but, like I said, I never paid attention, I don't know if you could replay the tutorial or, or not. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head over to the last thing we're gonna do. Where, how far is this? It's not too bad. This is also following a side quest we did in our first, uh, our first free roam part. I think this should be the last part in it. This was a really long side quest though. All right, guys, we're just about there. We can see the, their outpost right up there. Gosh, I can't believe it took me so long to finally get out this way. I mean, we're just now seeing, like, the actual Forbidden West here, and it looks insane. And I am not going to fight whatever that is right now. I feel really... I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I feel really weak in this game. Like, I know we did just, like, start off. But, like, I still... I, I don't know. I feel like I barely have anything. Knock down enemies by using explosive... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go then. Oh gosh. Okay. Well. Don't let her attack. They didn't kill him. Okay. What? I'm in. Oh you gosh. At this place before I can look around. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Why did I do this? Actually, you know what? Does that do any? Okay, that stuns him. Take it out, take it out. Okay, there we go. Gosh. I really didn't want to screw up this bad already. I'm not good at stealth, but I like it. Kind of. Gosh, okay. Let's 
take these machines out, then we'll take out the people. There we go. Dude, this one's so good. I gotta upgrade this thing. I think I'm actually I don't have it max. I can't remember. Okay, I don't know what this thing's doing. Wow. Let me get this to Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh! Just face me! Where are they at? Bro, why is this bow so powerful? My gosh. Compared to the other bows? Not that many machines. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. Alright, give me one minute while I loot all this. Alright, we looted pretty much everything. Now, where do we go into the cave over here? Didn't use this. I swear, like, half the times I've gotten into fights, there's one of those around, I end up just not using it because I don't pay attention. What is all that? A drawbridge. Might be my way across. This isn't Blaze, is it? I don't think it is. Let's see what we got. I gotta make sure I loot all this stuff. Don't even know what half of it is. Scanning the bridge with my focus. Might show me something. Can I shoot the ropes, maybe? Nope. Looks like there are a couple of weak points. Where the ropes attached to the bridge. Oh, okay, we shoot up there. There. Bridge is down. Oh, wait, what's down? Can I get up if I go down there? Hmm. Screw it. There's something purple. Oh, really? It's just one of these. Have something good in it, at least. Okay, that was not worth it at all. Get up, Aloy, get up. Oh my gosh, can I get up? Climb on! There we go. We got something else here. There is a lot of looting in this game. These supply caches weren't uh, in the last game. If you never played the last game. there I don't really think there's anything close to them in the last game. Like, there weren't really any random things you'd find. Maybe there was. I can't remember. It hasn't been too long since I played the last game. That bristleback. It looks like it fell into a tunnel. So the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. Oh really? That's all we gotta do? Do I die if I go down here? No. Is there any reason for me to? I don't have explosives. Can I just blow this up with this? I don't think we can, no. Oh wait. I just want to see what happens. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's get back to what's whatever his name was, Javad or something. I'm a fast travel there. Is there a campfire anywhere near us? No, there isn't. And then we have another rebel camp over there. Okay, let's get back to him, finish this quest off. Hopefully this will finish the quest off. This has been a pretty long quest. And then we can go ahead and end this part. Okay, let's get back to, what's his name again? Javad, upgrading your gear. Keep it viable, okay. 
That's just basic tip. Hope this guy gives us something. I can't remember. I'm sure he's gonna give us something. Probably won't be anything too crazy. Returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvent. Radiant beams of the sun. And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Alvent here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parchment. Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh the rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused. All of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom, Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. And you almost drowned your other miners, and sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need you! Down with all of <laughs> Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. Okay, that was actually a pretty good mission. What did we get? Chains Nora. will be better off with Petra in charge. What did we get a new? Is that a new outfit? No. Wait. What? What? Wait. No, it is. But it's basically the same thing as this. Okay, anyway, I mean, I wasn't expecting to get anything crazy. I was expecting, you know, maybe shards or something. That was a pretty good mission. It was a pretty long one, too. 
and those other missions tied into it with the refugees and uh, the other nine I did off camera. The one, it was the one uh, I had to help miners get out of the cave that got flooded. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I can definitely see where, uh, what people were talking about, about the side missions being a lot better. Because, I mean, that was, like, that seemed like a main mission, like, kind of. It would have been kind of a weaker main mission. Because, I mean, Olven getting, getting rid of Olven doesn't really matter that much, grand scheme of things. But, it was still a good mission. We're going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, and thanks for watching.